Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Happy New Year and welcome to my first review of 2020. Now today we're looking at the Master and Dynamic MH40 over ear headphones. Now this isn't a sponsored video, but these were kindly sent to me by Peddler, a new social marketplace with an audiophile community where you can discuss, review and purchase products such as these. Now I've had the privilege of working very closely with Peddler over the last few months and they're actually offering a competition to win a pair of these headphones. So I'll include the link to the website and the competition in the description box below if you want to check it out. But for now, let's get back to the review. So the MH40 is a closed back design with 45 mm neodymium drivers, a frequency response from 5 to 25,000 Hz at 32 ohms, a stylish classic design that comes in a wide range of colors with removable ear pads. Of course, there are a few other features and I'll cover those as we go throughout the video. So looking at the box, it's a nice, simple and stylish clean look with all the essentials that you need covered. Removing the sleeve and opening the flap will show the headphones presented front and center. Then with that, you've got an additional leather box that I'll cover off in a minute. Taking off that headphone layer, you'll find a quick start guide, carry pouch and then two documentation books. It's a pretty nice unboxing experience if you're into that. So here are all the contents that were included and getting into that leather box, this holds the two included cables and a jack adapter. Now they may look the same, but one is actually straight through and the other's got a remote, which is great for pausing songs and volume adjustment. The leather box is a nice touch, but I think once you pick the cable you're gonna need and then put it in the pouch with the headphones, I think it's unlikely you're gonna use it again. So let's get on to the main article. From the initial look, they're very different from what we typically see on the market, having a very classic look, but I think this is a welcome change. It's something that's certainly grown on me. The sides have got an almost industrial looking approach. I love the mesh style and the colour scheme here looks great. As a side note, if you're a fan of steampunk or post apocalyptic themes and you're willing to do a little bit of DIY, I think this would look really great if you painted them bronze and weathered them a little bit as well. So the M40s are made from aluminium or aluminium depending on where you're from. They are rather heavy as you may assume from the look, but I'll cover the long term wear and comfort in the conclusion. On each side you'll find a very smooth, precise adjustment with measurements if you want to be really picky about spacing between the ear cup to the headband. Personally, I'd put these on, then adjust them down as lots of movement can find them sliding a little bit anyway. The adjustment range is good, but not massive, so if you've got a large head, this might not work for you, unfortunately. The ear pads have a soft leather padding, which makes them nice and comfortable for longer periods of use. They're also removable with magnets as well. This allows you to easily swap them out if they become worn, so that gives the MH40 a further extended lifespan. Following up to the headband, this is again leather, be it less padded than the ear cups. It's got a stamped master and dynamic print on the inside, but remains clean on the top with some lovely detailed stitching. Now moving back to the ear cups, on the right hand side you'll find a small switch, and this acts as a mute button. It's a sprung button that clicks on, so a physical cut off over a digital one. This allows it to be used passively without requiring any power. A nice touch and may be useful to those working around others, commuting, listening around children, or in between tasks and calls. Now below that you've got two 3.5mm jacks, but they both allow use for the device so you can use whichever size is more comfortable for you. That also allows the connection of another pair of headphones. So for example you can go from your device to these headphones, then use the other included cable to a separate pair of headphones in a daisy chain effect to allow you to easily share songs with a friend. Additionally if someone is using a hardwired cable from their headphones, they can just plug straight into yours. So we've had a little brief look around but I want to get to the conclusion because the obvious reason you're here is if they're worth buying right? So the MH40 are a solid contender in the audio market, but there's a couple of caveats that I want to tell you about for anyone considering splashing some money on these. So first let's go in order from bass to mids, then highs. The bass is very nice and smooth, but without being boomy. Certainly deeper than I expected given the more stylish appearance, and they're actually very deceptive in the low end, but I mean that in a no way negative effect. But I do really like how the bass is delivered from these, me likey. The mid range is good, rather balanced. Vocals come through well with neither any lacking or too much prominence. Male vocals sound more full than females, but that's by no means saying that female vocalists won't sound good when played back, but the male just has a little bit more benefit here. The high end is good, instruments, strings and cymbals sound clear and bright. Not the sharpest I've heard, but still a very pleasant listening experience. For example, the Velt by Dead Mouse is very nice, with all the background details coming through nicely. Generally more neutral for the mids and highs. In terms of comfort, the weight does limit the length of the listening sessions that can be had. I often found discomfort on the top of my head from the headband, but it's hard to tell if that's an easy fix just by adding more padding, as the headphones overall are on the heavy side. The build and construction is nice. I do love the look, something that's grown on me over time, which to be honest is a total flip of my first impressions when they first landed here. I do like the mute switch, that is a nice addition, something I found myself using more than I expected to as well. Overall, for a general purpose pair of headphones, they are a great pick especially if you're not going to be sitting for a longer period of time. So for example, commuting or maybe a short session while you work, they're going to be a good choice. So if you have any more questions on this product, then leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll also link this product in the video description if you want to pick a pair up. 
If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you to Pedal for sending them out for me to review. And I'll see you all in the next one. Control.